Cut down the tree! Oh no, there's gonna be no oxygen left! We're all gonna die! Yeah, whatever. Hey everybody, it's Nintendo ES100 here with Let's Play Pokemon Emerald Part 7. And we just got an X accuracy, and now I'm gonna show you how to register trainers you've already battled into your Poké now. As you can see, I battled her in the last... Not the last episode, but a previous episode. And so now I can register her as well as this guy. But like I was, I was saying... In the last episode, we saved a Devon worker again, defeated a Team Aqua member again, and now we're just going to be heading south towards um, Mr. Briny's place, and he can give us a lift over. L give us a lift to Duford Town. Ooh, tiny mushroom. Big deal. Eh, if only this was a Mario game, that'd be so much better. <sighs> hate wild encounters. Okay. Oh, a Miracle Seed. That will boost the power of your Grass-type moves. So, if you chose Trico, again, not bad. Really? <sighs> and a Great Ball. Not bad. But something I've noticed is the early part of this game really tries to boost up people who chose Trico. Okay. Really? And another Tiny Mushroom. Again, too bad this ain't a Mario game. Okay, I'm starting to get really pissed off by these random encounters now. Oh, X attack. Now, I, that, I guess that makes up for the one I used against Roxanne to completely uh, obliterate that nose pass of hers. <laughs> and a potion. Eh, kind of lame, considering we've already been finding super potions. And, eh. Potions aren't yet outdated, but they will be relatively soon. Let's see what you got to say. Uh, don't steal other... Oh, yeah, just don't steal other people's Pokemon. Big deal. Not like we can. And... Speaking of catching Pokemon, there's a Pokeball right there, and nothing down there. Okay, let's go talk to Mr. Briny, and he is chasing his Wingle around the house. And look, you can make him, you can make Wingo, the Wingle chase him. Ah, <laughs> oh wow. But we'll have to cut this chasing session short so we can get, because we have business to attend to. Okay, yes, we want to sail with you. Yeah, we got a letter. Shut up, old man. Let me go to do for town. And I love this song right here. I'm just gonna be quiet and listen to the song. Who dares interrupt this awesome music? Oh, it's my dad. Oh, okay. It sounds windy wherever you are. Yeah, because I'm on a boat. No joke intended. Um. <laughs> And somehow he found out we got a Poké Nav and got our number, but I'm, I was wondering, does, does a Poké Nav work like a cell phone, or I don't know. And here we are, we're almost three, two, one, now we are in Dufer Town. Okay, so let's go take that letter to Steven, but first, Dufer, Dufer Town, a little tiny island in the blue sea, whatever, don't care. And here, this is going to introduce fishing into the game. This is the old rod. You can't really catch much with this rod. You can catch mainly Magikarp, which, as I've said in previous episodes, sucks. And you can also sometimes catch a Tentacool. I might catch one as an HM slave, but uh, let me just quickly show you how this whole fishing thing works. Use the old rod. And not even a nibble. There's an innuendo in that somewhere. And yeah, you can re register items, so you can just press the select button, and then you'll be able to use it pretty much whenever, as long as you're able to use it, and not another nibble. Great. Oh, okay, here we go. Pokemon on the hook. And, uh, Magikarp. Okay, well, I'm just gonna kill it, and I'll... Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna cut out the rest of this, because it's a Magikarp. How interesting can it possibly be? Okay, see you in a minute. Well, I didn't really need to cut that, did I? Oh well. This is the, uh, kind of... I don't even know what the really... I didn't read that sign, really, so I kind of skipped over it, and what's this guy talking about? Noisy kindergarten? It's the hottest thing in... Cool. What? What the heck is this guy saying? Um... Okay, I... No, I've never heard of Noisy Kindergarten, and I'm not gonna tell you what I think is cool. Okay... Whatever... And we got a fisherman. 
Okay, is this gonna be that like the usual six Magikarp trainer? Okay, no, it's not. Oh, a tentacle, actually something that could be a threat, but not to me considering I've got um a highly overleveled psychic type with confusion. Haha. <laughs> now it's going to die. Die to my psychic mind powers. Okay. That name Ned, it, that remind me, do you have any, did any of you guys used to watch Ned's Declassified? And also, look, we got a heart skill hidden right here. Heart skills, not a bad item. I'll explain them a little more later when we get into using them some more. Let's see, oh, just talking about the fishing rod, and we got another battle. But like I was saying, um, do any of you guys remember watching Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide? I used to love that show. That was, that was like one of the best shows on TV. When, I remember when I was little, I, that, I just liked that show. It was really cool. It kind of exaggerated some of the stuff in middle school, but it just made middle school kind of seem more interesting. Um, actually, I remember one time I, I actually considered like watching all the episodes and writing down all the tips and see if any, how many of them actually actually worked. Of course, I wrote down one, got bored, lost the paper I was writing it on, and I said, screw it, I'm not going to do this, this is a waste of my time. But, okay, yeah, just another fisherman, big whoop. Almost swore again, because I really, and I really need to cut down on swearing, because I'm not sure there might be some younger viewers, and I don't want to be offending anybody by swearing, kind of like I did in the last episode. And I want to really apologize for that. Um, but, okay. And we register this dude. Uh, he's probably going to call us later, and ooh, a Stardust. But yeah, that guy's probably going to call us later. I'm not going to remember who he is, and I'm not going to really care who he is. And here we got a Pokeball, I guess, buried in sand. But okay, let's check out this cave right here. This is Granite Cave. Let's talk to this hiker. Okay, it's awfully dark ahead. Oh, he, oh so St Steven came through here, and we got to meet him anyway. And he mentions Flash, so he'll give you the HM for Flash. It will um, allow you to light up dark rooms. Eh, relatively helpful. Not. But, um, but you need the gym badge from the Duford Pokemon Gym, and there's nothing hidden right there. Okay, whatever. Dang, I was seeing how long I could go without a random encounter, but, oh, an escape rope. Hm, not bad. It allows you to escape dungeons and stuff really quickly. And as you can see, it is relatively dark down here, so I will tackle that at a later time. Again, random encounter. That's why I hate caves, because you don't know when the random encounter is going to be. <sighs> but, I guess that's to, to be expected. It's a Pokemon game. And, okay, let's go into the gym. Let's read the sign. Leader Brawly, a big wave in fighting. Hmm, fighting and waves. Does that mean he can use Kamehameha? Because that'd be awesome. You know, why'd I, why I went in that house, I don't know. Uh, and right now, we can only go back to Pedalburg. I was hoping to see if we can go on to the next town. Okay, after healing, let's take on the gym. Let's see what this guy's got to say now. How's it going, champ champion bound in 10? Okay, this gym is with fighting types. Don't use normal Pokemon. They will really badly hurt normal Pokemon, because normal Pokemon suck in general. Yeah, it's dark as the ocean floor. Not really, because I can still see. But yeah, as you defeat trainers, um, it will get brighter. Um, and of course, like in any gym, I will be taking on all the trainers. But as I was saying, yeah, if he's a wave in fighting, hmm, it'd be awesome if he could use the Kamehameha. God, I am such a dork. <laughs> Obviously, you, anybody who. Unlike some of my other little insignificant little references like PSI and Ninten, you guys probably all know what Kamehameha is, but and it just proves how much of a dork I am. But okay, it's using Bide. Big deal. Just died. Thank you for dying. God, that's gonna be like gonna be like like quote and ooh level 21. Uh, calm. Ooh, calm mind. That could be really helpful considering this is he's gonna. Uh, PSI is going to be a big special attacker, so I'll get rid of double team. Yeah, it's uh, Calm Mind. It boosts special attack and special defense by one stage. Not bad, especially for a special attacker like this one. It's good on pretty much any decent psychic type. 
as you saw right there, it um, lit up a little bit. And I'm going to switch over so um, Inferno can get a little more experience. Because I always tend to keep my starter a little stronger than the rest of my team. Just personal preference. And... Okay. I think that actually is an unavoidable double battle. Normally I try to go for one battle and then the other instead of doing both at the same time. Just because you get more experience for Pokemon. Just personal preference, but I think this is a required. I would know it's too dark. For all I know, I probably screwed that up. But whatever. Let's just kill these guys. Peck on Metatite, Confusion on Machop. And okay. Down that thing goes. Not like it had a chance, considering I'm extremely overleveled and I'm using super effective moves. And dang, Inferno already got a level up. Not bad. Okay, finish that off. Um. I'm kind of wondering is I wonder where they got the idea of Metatite. What gave Nintendo the idea that a monkey would be a good fighter? I don't know. And it got even brighter. I wonder if it actually got even brighter than usual because I battled two trainers. I don't know. But I think over there is the gym leader. But of course I'm not gonna I'm gonna battle all the underlings first. This girl says you, there's no need for Brawly, I'll crush you myself. I don't think so, Mrs. Single Level 13 Metatite against Level 23 Overleveled Inferno with Peck. Yeah, no chance. Okay. And like usual, I will be giving all the gym leaders their separate videos. Um, not like these early gym leaders will really need their own... Nah, they, yeah, these first gym leaders really don't need their own separate videos, considering that the battles aren't that long in the first place. Like, the battle against Roxanne, that whole video is about five minutes long, and the battle itself is probably like two minutes. But yeah, the Brawler one I don't expect to last much longer, and um, that'll hopefully be uploaded later today, alongside this one. But, I'll see. Ugh. Let's see, are there any more trainers in here? Oh, okay, yeah, there's at least one more. Might is right, come on. Okay. Well, yep, Might is definitely right, especially if you're an overlevel Pokemon trainer like me. And this is Black Belt Takao. 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 Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if that's supposed to be a pun. Uh, but there will never be a black belt with as good a name as, like, if any of you remember, there was a, I think, I know in Gold, Silver, Crystal, I don't remember if they did this in Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, but, uh, they actually had a black belt in the fifth gym named Yoshi. <laughs> and here's the gym leader, so I will battle him in the next part. See you guys later.